Hello everybody, this is Jacob from Children's Museum Houston. I am in the Invention Convention sponsored by David and Jean Wiley Foundation and I'm about to eat this robot. Just kidding, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this robot apart and look at what kind of makes it work. So I'm gonna take the whole thing apart and we're gonna look at everything that goes on inside of this Dash robot, which behind me is our robot arena where we usually program Dash robots, not usually take them apart into little pieces. Um, so let's get to it. All right, I have now disassembled this entire Dash robot. So in the front, you'll see some of the plastic pieces that make up the shell of the robot. These are all pieces that hold everything else in place and make it a nice compact thing so it doesn't look like this whole uh, mess of wires and lights and circuit boards here now that we've taken all of that out. So that's what you see in the front as well as, well as all of the screws that kept it all together. Um, over here is where most of our robot is. This is most of what makes the robot work. So I'll start over here. This is the neck of the robot. Um, so this turns the head and it will actually go into action when I turn on the robot very soon. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Turn the robot on in its taken apart state. So you can hear and see this little gear whirring and moving around. It's trying to move that head back and forth. Over here, we have the speaker of the robot, so any sound will come from here, as well as the front light, which has turned on. So this is the front light that goes in the front of the robot. This is the front camera of the robot, so it senses things with this camera in front of it, tells it how far away objects are, and even can sense the shape of different objects. These are the two rear cameras, which cannot give it so much information, but does tell it when it hits an object. So it tells it when an object is so close that it needs to get away from it. So these two are both the rear cameras. This is the main circuit board. This is where most of the information is coming from, telling the different parts of the robot what to do. You can see most of the wires, like this wire's coming out of here. So this is telling the robot to move its head um, based on things that it sees or based on code that's being sent to it. My favorite part is the headlights. Here are all the lights that go into the head. So these are the two lights on the side of the head. And then this is the eye of the robot. And all of that information is coming from these two circuit boards here that are telling which lights to turn on and off. So you can actually code those lights and make different things happen. You have all the buttons up here as well. And finally, down here is the uh, wheel house of the robot. So this houses all of the different wheels, um, which will roll based on what this circuit board tells it to do, um, as well as the power of the robot comes within here. The batteries inside of here. I did not take this part apart because it's glued shut. So once you take this part apart, um, it, the robot can't be put back together again. So I left this part all, sep uh, all together and separated everything else. All right, so that is our Taken Apart robot, and if you ever visit the museum, you can also see a Taken Apart robot here at our Robo Lab, which is part of our robot arena, here in the Invention Convention, sponsored by David and Jean Wiley Foundation. Again, my name is Jacob, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.